Hello, and welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real-life American English. Today, we're going to learn some important vocabulary and the prepositions that go with them, because they mean different things. So let's get started. So today, we're looking at belong. Belong to, belong in, belong at, belong on, belong with. They're different. So let's take a closer look. First, let's talk about this one, belong to. When I say belong to, I'm talking about possession. For example, these glasses are mine. These are my glasses. So I can say, these glasses belong to me. I use to, belong to me. These glasses belong to me. They're my glasses. I'm talking about possession. Pronunciation, belong to me. To is pronounced t because it's not a stressed word. The glasses belong to me. They're mine. Let's hear some examples of belong to talking about possession. In the prestigious buildings of Manhattan's elite, sometimes the door we open belongs to someone else. You're selling something I believe belongs to us. I guess, uh, I guess this belongs to you. But the uniforms belong to these two men, Burke and Samuel. I want that money. It belongs to me. I believe you have something that belongs to me. It belongs to me. Example, he stole it. It's not his. It doesn't belong to him. It doesn't belong to me. And it doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the homeowner. Let's practice. Does it belong to him? That's right. It doesn't belong to him. It's not his. Does it belong to you? That's right. It doesn't belong to me. It's not mine. So who does it belong to? It belongs to the homeowner. Let's practice. Who does it belong to? That's right. It belongs to the homeowner. Now let's talk about belong in. This is a different idea. It's not about possession. It's about where someone should be, where someone is supposed to be. It's the place for this person. Example, criminals. Where do they belong? Do they belong on the streets or do they belong in jail? The answer, they belong in jail. They're criminals. That's where they belong. That's the place for them. They belong in jail. Let's hear some examples of belong in, talking about where people should be, the place where they're supposed to be. Carlos belongs in a circus. Oh, he's going to jail. He belongs in jail. That's why they belong in prison. She belongs in hell, Reverend. So again, the example. Criminals belong in jail. They don't belong on the streets. They belong in jail. Let's practice. Where do criminals belong? Do they belong on the streets? That's right. They don't belong on the streets. Do they belong in jail? That's right. Criminals belong in jail. So we saw the difference there. When I talked about jail, I said criminals belong in jail. But when I said streets, I said they don't belong on the streets. So sometimes it's in and sometimes it's on, depending on the place you're talking about. But it's the same idea. Example, he's a farmer. So I can say he belongs on the farm. This is the right place for him. He belongs on the farm. We don't say in the farm. We say on the farm. So we say he belongs on the farm. He's a farmer. That's where he belongs. Let's hear some examples of belong on. I'm going to put my focus where it belongs, on, on the court case. I do not know if you will feel I belong on the same stage as you. Alpha dog is right where he belongs, on top. I agree, but I don't think he belongs on the court with somebody of Billie Jean's caliber. And anyone who thinks otherwise probably doesn't belong on my board. They don't belong on this earth. Riggs said he issued the challenge because I want to prove that women are lousy and they don't belong on the same court as a man. Wow. President Nixon today signed... So example, he's a farmer. Where does he belong? He belongs on the farm. Of course. That's the right place for him. Let's practice. He's a farmer. Where does he belong? That's right. He belongs on the farm. Now let's talk about belong at. We can use at when we talk about specific places. So we see, sometimes belong in, 
sometimes belong on, and sometimes belong at. It depends on the place you're talking about. Example, if I say home, I cannot say they belong in home or on home. No, we use at, at home. So I can say they belong at home. Example, kids belong at home with their parents. They don't belong out on the streets. They belong at home with their parents, where it's safe. Let's hear some examples of belong at. You don't belong at Ford. You belong at home. You belong at the university doing research, not hiding in your room. Smart. He belongs at a university. All he needs is for you to help him take an untimed SAT. He belongs at home, where he'll be safe and away from trouble. This woman does not belong in a RICO indictment. She belongs on a box of Wheaties. Can you tell me she belongs at Tish more than you? You belong at home with him. The girl belongs at home with her parents. I insist. Much, but the children belong at home with their mother. You, you don't belong at a wedding. Let's practice. Do the kids belong at home with their parents? That's right. Kids belong at home with their parents, where it's safe. This is the best place for them. It's where they belong. And what if I say here? Can I say they belong in here, at here, or on here? We don't use a preposition. For here, we just say belong here. Let's hear some examples of belong here. You know, she really doesn't belong here. You belong here. I don't belong here. I don't belong here. I don't belong anywhere. I don't belong here. I wasn't on the plane. We don't even belong here. You belong here with us in the nation's capital. Example, he's a runner, but he's a slow runner. And he's in the Olympics. Because I say in the Olympics, I say he doesn't belong in the Olympics. I use in. He doesn't belong in the Olympics. This is not the right place for him. He doesn't belong there. So if I'm talking to him, I say, you don't belong here. But now I'm speaking and I say he doesn't belong there. No preposition. He doesn't belong there. He doesn't belong in the Olympics. It's not the right place for him because he's a slow runner. Let's practice. Does he belong in the Olympics? That's right. He doesn't belong in the Olympics. Does he belong there? That's right. He doesn't belong there. And we can also say belong with. Example, he's a farmer and he lives with his family. And I can say he belongs with his family. If I tell him, hey, come and move to California and live over here, he'll say, no, I don't belong in California. He belongs with his family. He belongs on the farm with his family. That's the place for him. He belongs with his family. That's where he should be. That's where he's supposed to be. Let's hear some examples of belong with. I am their mother, and they belong with me. You belong with my daughter, and I think everyone should know that. You belong with your family. You belong with me. I belong with my people. You belong with me. Let's practice. Should he move away? Should he leave his family? Or does he belong with his family? That's right. He belongs with his family. That's the place for him. That's where he belongs. Or I can say belong together. If I talk about him and his family, I can say they belong together. They should be together. That's how it's supposed to be. They belong together. Let's hear some examples of belong together. Look, some things just don't belong together, like my mom and your dad or Michael and a gun. See, we belong together. And knowing where you belong is very important. You know how some people just naturally belong together? And some people, they... Subconsciously, she's thinking, we're in sync, we belong together. They will realize that they belong together, and they'll fix it before it's too late. You belong together with your mother. You know, so I, I just, it's very clear that you guys belong together, and, yeah, and sure you are perfect. Yes. I've... Let's practice. He's living with his family. Should he move away, or should he stay? Do they belong together? That's right, he should stay because they belong together. They're supposed to be together. That's how it should be. Now let's talk about things, objects. We use the word belong to talk about objects too. For example, I can say the toys 
don't belong on the floor. That means the toys should not be on the floor. This is not the correct place for the toys. They don't belong there. They don't belong on the floor. Where do they belong? They belong in the toy box. That's the correct place for them. They don't belong on the floor. They belong in the toy box. So somebody needs to pick them up and put them where they belong. Let's hear some examples of belong talking about things and where they're supposed to be. It belongs in the house I grew up in next to that pile of TV guides and in plain view of what for a 10 year old was a quality piece of string art. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't belong there. No, no. Then why don't you put that where it belongs? It doesn't belong in the kitchen. It belongs in the trash, which is where you probably found it. This is diarrhea, this doesn't belong here. We'll send over to Peter. Do I think America belongs in Vietnam? It belongs in a museum. It belongs in a museum. Let's practice. Do the toys belong on the floor? That's right, the toys don't belong on the floor. So where do they belong? Do they belong in the toy box? That's right, they belong in the toy box. So somebody needs to pick them up and put them where they belong. Let's practice. Does somebody need to pick them up and put them where they belong? That's right, somebody needs to pick them up and put them where they belong. So remember, when you hear belong to, you're talking about possession. Remember, these glasses belong to me. Possession, they're my glasses, they belong to me. But if you hear belong in, belong on, belong at, belong with, you're talking about where somebody should be. You're talking about the correct place for the person. But remember, we also use it for objects. You can talk about the correct place for an object and use belong. Belong in, belong on, belong at, belong with. It depends on the case. Each place is different. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.